Hey there, Leslie Sansone Williams coming to you today from Paralegal Coffee Talk on Facebook. Come on over and see me there. I would love to have you come by, like the page. There's live videos there every week, more than one. Like it's, it's, you know, I'm ratcheting this up. So um, I want to provide you as much info as I can about this career. And I want to do live videos more and more over there. So there's one over there right now for, um, Today, when I upload this video, you will go over to Facebook, Paralegal Coffee Talk, and you'll see a lot of live videos, so check that out. And most of the people that are there with me are people who are new to, brand new to the career or getting ready to jump in. So, And many people from this channel, several people, have commented that they've landed jobs by watching the videos. So I want to let you know that there's hope for you, you know, it's it's not lost on me that God has placed this on your heart and in your mind. Never focus on the money only. That's not what should be driving you. What should be driving you is whether this is a fit for you or not. Be selfish about that. Is this a fit for you? Don't look at this, I'm going to make a ton of bucks right off the bat. You will not. So don't go into this thinking that. Be realistic, and I'm helping you get there, that you have to work your way into that. You have to go into an entry-level position first. And you're not, you should never be thrown into the deep waters first, or throw yourself, or try to throw yourself into the deep waters, okay? So let's talk about what's possibly driving you away from this career when in fact God has placed it on your heart and in your mind to get into it. So usually what does that is our own insecurities. That we don't think we're good enough, we're smart enough, we're worthy enough, all of that. Check all of the above, right? And I wondered when I decided to go into the field, I had just closed a, a brick and mortar business and had operated it for four years. And then a big box store came into our teeny tiny town and pushed a lot of small businesses out. And so there were a lot of people scrambling for jobs. And I looked at the, the legal career because my aunts, I had two aunts in, that were legal secretaries in New Jersey. And I was in Oklahoma. So I thought, well, I'd have to probably drive to Tulsa in order to uh, have access to more opportunity and maybe a little bit higher pay but and I was right not at the start I had to work my way into higher pay I don't look as the paralegal career as above a legal secretary never legal secretaries are gold to me I was one and I learned from legal secretaries so and paralegals too so what do you what are those blocks that are stopping you that you don't think you know enough well you can learn a whole lot through the videos on this channel you can learn a lot on Google you can learn a lot just by doing searches on Google but if you feel like you're spinning your wheels and going in circles then you need to pick up my book which is for entry-level paralegals the people that are just looking at this career for the first time or just in it for the first time. That's, that's a, a good book to pick up. And it's on Kindle as well as paperback. So check it out on Amazon. But besides that, what I did in the beginning, I picked up some books about an area of law that I was interested in. And I also picked up a book on Microsoft Word because I needed to up my game and become more of an expert on Microsoft Word. Or I'm thinking, excuse me, WordPerfect because it, Word wasn't even out. And um, WordPerfect and the Apple computer were the two, there was the PC and the Apple. But the law firms were using the PCs, unfortunately, at that time because the Apple was far advanced. And so I had an Apple at home, but back then it was called the Mac. But I had to learn the PC, and it was like a dinosaur. 
it was from the the dinosaur age but then pretty soon it came up to speed with the Mac and um, the PC didn't even have pull-down menus like we have now and all of that it was so archaic but I had to learn if I was going to be in the field so that was a big barrier for me to get over the insecurities when you start, you know, you'd have to jump over those barriers. You want to do your resume and cover letter, but you better show how you're a fit for the position. You can't just send out resumes and cover letters and it's the same one to every attorney that you send it to and it doesn't even show how you're a fit for the job. And areas of law, there's a whole bunch of areas of law. Look on this channel here that I just posted a video about family law. There's estate planning law. There's um, on this channel I have personal injury, immigration law. I believe I have a commercial or business law one. But you'll see if you search where the um, magnifying glass is on my channel, hit that. That's the search area and put paralegal duties. And it should bring up all those videos that pertain to the different areas of law. But there are m many more than I've listed there. So you'll find, I'll be doing more videos about different areas of law besides the ones that are up on the channel right now. But that's what you have to, you have to learn step by step. And that what I told you about understanding if you're a fit, you have to look at the duties and, and understand what each of those duties means and use Google for that. And then ask yourself, am I interested in that? If you're thinking, oh, big bucks, big bucks, don't think that way because you will not be making big bucks. I can't say that enough. You have to look at, is this job a fit for you? Is it a fit? So, most important question, is this where God wants me to be? Is it a fit? If it's not a fit, it won't work. So, the insecurities come by jumping over the barriers. You're going to do your research. If you don't like research, don't go into the paralegal field. If you love it and you love just finding that nugget, finding those answers, then I would say you might be a fit. But then it's, it's really drilling down into, do I like personal injury, immigration? Do I like business law better? What, what is it that you like? And you only know that by research. Now, I go into a lot of how to prepare a cover letter and make your resume the most powerful by acquiring legal knowledge. And I go into what legal knowledge you need that will impress an attorney. And I do not... I do not recommend at this point with no experience going to an employment agency they don't understand how to get you in you know what when you acquire legal knowledge you have something to trade off on in your resume and cover letter but I teach you how to do two powerful cover letters plus power up your resume plus give you a lot of legal knowledge in my class called Paralegal Inner Circle. So check that out on my website and I'll post my website below but it's lesliesansonewilliams.com but on any of the videos you should see a link to my website below or directly to the um, Paralegal Inner Circle class as well as to Amazon for the book and, and whatnot. And I can't say enough that you've got to absorb and digest what's on the, the Paralegal Coffee Talk page, what's on the website. I have a podcast there, but if you go to soundcloud.com um, or download that app on your smartphone, go to SoundCloud and look for Leslie Sansone Williams 1, the number one. And you, there are other podcasts there as well, two different places. And I will, be, I will have a third very soon. So all of that is to help you and edify you and bring you to that place of edu you know where it educates you and you can decide um, because you've got all this information number one do you want to get into the field number two what area of law so that will help you jump over these hurdles because if you start looping how you're not good enough things from your past crop up and all this look at go to the paralegal coffee talk uh, page and look oh it's been a few days ago um, maybe 
January 26-ish or around there, look for a post I, I put up um, that talks about my learning how to drive a stick shift and what was said to me. And you'll understand, I understand the psyche of insecurity and that driving us to not excel, to not overcome. But you can overcome. And I want that for you. I want you to be able to do what you feel led to do. And you can. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I want you to read good books, good books that interest you. If you have to download them on the Kindle app, and I don't mean just mine, but um, I'll show you, um, well, this is one of my books that I love. This is Jesus Calling. That's my devotional. And that's by Sarah Young. And, you know, I have a... Uh, this book I bought a long time ago, Your 5-Minute Personal Coach, which is such a good book by Valerie Burton. Very, very good book. And as I have, oh, there's another one I just purchased called The Awakened Woman by Dr. I can't roll the R's well, but Tererai, T-E-R-E-R-A-I, that's her first name, Dr. Tererai Trent, T-R-E-N-T, -E and I'll post links below to those books. It'll, there'll be affiliate links for Amazon, but these are the books that I refer to a lot, and I've got Dr. Trent's book on my, a night, my table next to my bed, and I carry these books, these other books, with me all the time. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you another one. I've got, this is a Bible study I'm doing, 12 Women of the Bible. I don't know if you can see this. And this is by Lisa Turkhurst, whom I adore. She just tells it like it is. She's just down to earth. And she is the author of, a creator of um, an app called, I think it's called P31, but it stands for Proverbs 31 Woman. And it is on, I think she's on Facebook too. But I love her style of writing, but several women wrote this book along with Lisa. So, you know, what you read and what you put into your mind is very important. Who you hang with is very important. Are you hanging with people of like minds? You know, when you hang out with people who have the same dream desire as you, there's a lot of energy in the room from that. There's this motivation to, to push, to keep going. But when they don't support you, it's, it's a downer, isn't it? It's really a downer. So who you hang with, what you're reading, what you're thinking, stop the negative self-talk. I have to practice that myself. Saying things that are downers to myself or thinking that, it just doesn't make my day. And the Lord doesn't want us in that place. So look at those things. Like who are you surrounding yourself with? Are you reading any books? You need to read to just, you know, to fill yourself. You need to read the Bible every single day. Start off in the book of Proverbs. That's what I'm reading through right now. I have Bible Gateway on my phone, the app, and sometimes I'll, I'll forget. And so it might take me a week to get through four chapters of, Pro, you know, through the fourth um, through a total of four chapters on Proverbs, but that's okay. Um, infuse your mind with the right things, and God will give you the strength to jump over those hurdles, to jump over those barriers. He has for me. You know, I'm an introvert extrovert. I'm a combo personality. I like to get alone to do videos for you, and that's like a recharging for me to be alone and just have a peaceful, peaceful surroundings. Sometimes you need to have that time to yourself every day, even if it's only 30 minutes. If it means you're at work and you can get away for your lunch, your lunch, I like to say hour, but we know it's not an hour. And get away and just read a chapter of a book that's gonna inspire you. All right, so I hope this was helpful. 
please um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to see videos on anything in particular, let me know and I'll do a video if I can, okay? Um, but again, go to the website and check out the goodies that I have there for you, the podcast, the blog posts, more blog posts coming up this week to help you. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.